And anyone who owns an Aussie knows this look. This is the look like, hey, let's go ahead and do something. I'm bored. That look is, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> to do absolutely nothing. What do you think's happening, mister? What are you trying to say? Oh, you want to go on a little trip? You want to go get away? The city has had its way with you? Are you going to say anything? <laughs> okay, too long. Let's go. What is that? She looks so skinny. I know it. Hey guys, you ready to you ready to go have some fun? Yeah. We are all packed up, and uh, we ready to go. <laughs> the city is getting a little crazy. There's a lot of construction around the apartment right now. Um, it's it's snowing randomly. Well, it should. We live in Ottawa right now, so it should be snowing anyways. But we decided that it was just time to to take a little, little tiny, tiny trip away. This girl's bringing her entire freaking forest with her. Angelica is a floral designer, so she wants to do some work there. So we're gonna go to uh, a relative's place and house sit, basically, with the doggos. You ready? You have enough stuff? Are you sure you don't want any more? <laughs> you wanna go? It's to work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there she is. Oh, I don't know, look good. <coughs> oh, look at her. Drop it. Go. So we are here with the two Oswalds um, in Wakefield. That's where we're located right now. And we're just gonna have a nice, uh, nice few days here, and figured I'd bring the camera and and show you what we do. I don't know if we're gonna be going on any hikes or anything, but just kind of like the average, maybe maybe go through some questions that I get. I see a lot on the vlogs and, and answer them because there's a lot coming through, which is insane. Did you just? Whoa, 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 mister. Guess who did that, guys? This guy. Oh, <laughs> okay, let's go get, no, 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 it's the other way, bud. It's down here. Come on, no, this, okay. He's not used to so many stairs, it's gonna be funny. No, he's used to the stairs. He's not used to holes in stairs. Come here, this way. It went under the stairs, down the other stairs, so he's confused. Go get it. There we go. No, oh, you mess, you pissed. Ugh. Yeah! And then this is the downstairs I didn't show you guys. Um, and it's right on the right on the water, which is beautiful. But it's gonna be hard to get Frankie to not go swimming because this boy loves to swim. <laughs> anybody wants to know what Indy's like in the morning, she is frisky. You guys all saw the last video of Frankie waking up. He's tired. This is not normal. <laughs> when they're together, yeah, they're frisky.
No. Sit. Sit. Indy, sit. 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 <coughs> Indy, sit. Stay. Okay, go. Every morning I get him to sit before he eats because I want him to know it's not a race to go to go eat your food. I'm gonna give it to him anyways. And he just usually lays down. He's pretty chill. It's 842, looking out at the water. Beautiful. Frankie is is going crazy. Hey mister? Last night we just wanted to take it easy. We just wanted to 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 check in and uh, just take an easy night. Today we're gonna go out and explore and I'm just looking at the weather now. Uh, it's in the negatives all day. Oh, is it? So it's negative eight right now, Celsius. Shit, that's cold. <laughs> it's not that cold. It, we're getting used to our cold in Canada. And then around 12, we see like minus four in sun. But it looks pretty nice out. This is the view we're dealing with, so you can't, you can't really complain. And Angelica's making coffee. This is like the, the normal routine where we're having an easy morning, like a mm -hmm. quiet morning, making coffee, and then they're just ripping each other's heads off. I don't know if it's gonna be good. I don't know really how to use this thing. I might put too many scoops. <laughs> okay, drop it. Thank you very much. See you later. Now let's talk about when you arrive in a new spot. You know, you're going to an Airbnb, you're traveling with your dog. Something that is really, really important is to go around the entire space with your dog. Show them where they can go, where they can't go. He's allowed on the couch here, but show him that, that he's allowed to do this. Let him sniff around, let him understand his, his area and his situation. And a really, really good way to do this is if you also have a leash on you because then you can easily guide them. The reason why you do this is so that it, you can create a safe space for your dog. You don't have to go searching for your dog in the middle of the night and you, know, you, you just know where your dog is. Also bringing a crate with you is really, really uh, important as well so that you can bring your dog's safe space, their den with you so that if they feel uncomfortable in a situation, they can also go there. But uh, we just brought their beds, which are downstairs in the bedroom. So they know to stay there. This is bedtime, they're gonna sleep there. So if anybody is new here, this is my dog, uh, Frankie. He is just over a year and a half and he's got a nice smile. <laughs> and this is Indy. She is uh, just over four years old and she's also a mini Australian Shepherd, just a red Merrill and Frankie is a blue Merrill. They aren't related, but they're basically brother and sisters because that's my girlfriend, Angelica. <laughs> and anyone who owns an Aussie knows this look. This is the look like, hey, let's go ahead and do something. I'm bored. That look is, I'm I'm good <laughs> to do absolutely nothing. So one of the toughest things, especially for, for Frankie being a, a lot more energetic, is that he has a tough time if he doesn't get his energy out. And so today we went for that walk that you guys saw earlier. And um, he wasn't like the best walker. He pulled a lot because he it was a new spot. He didn't get to smell around. He didn't get to run that day. Um, and so I think like if you're if you're looking to get an Aussie, you if you want them to cooperate like for like taking photos and stuff, I exercise him about at least an hour before I try to take photos. So it's run, 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 and it's, it's constant exercise. It's not just taking them for a walk that doesn't do it. It's running, running, and running. Or playing a sport like catch and running to chase a ball or to catch a ball because he's using his, his brain. It's not just, okay, why, when are we gonna go to play? That's what a walk is to them. Look at where we are. It's just, it's just absolutely beautiful here. 
Um, literally no complaints. So we're just trying to soak it all in, even though it's not a huge, huge yard to play on. He's he's still happy to be here. Whoa! And for all the oh whoa, nice jump for all the indie lovers out there. She is doing very well, licking a frozen ball right now. Um, she's happy doing that. <laughs> Frankie's like, what? Let's uh, let's run a little bit. The downside to being by the water, Franks, it's in the water. You can't go swimming. It's way too cold. Bye bye, chuck it. If it goes to the, I I'm gonna try to get it. Oh my goodness! I went to grab a broom and look how close it is. Yes. No, 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 stay. This is gonna be so cold, even just to. Whew. I got it. I think I'm a little happier, mainly because this is like a $17 ball. These chuckets are so expensive. <laughs> I don't even use the freaking chucket thing. <laughs> Fakers, I got it. I got it, thanks. Thanks. Go. <sighs> Indy's not the, the biggest fighter compared to Mr. Franklin's. So, uh, but she likes to slide. <laughs> and she always comes back. That's, that's literally like, that's her thing. <laughs> Whoa! Nice! Whoa! See you later! Okay, here's the name of the game. Tide and Seek. If you don't find me, I'm gone forever. Okay? You have to stay. Okay, come here. Here they come. Frankie went upstairs. I can hear him whining. We'll see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Frankie! Hey, there's no helping. No helping? No helping. Frankie! He's above me. He's upstairs, but above me. Whoa, Frankus! <laughs> Hi, Frankus. Hi, Frankus. Oh, he's like crying. Hi, Hi Frankus. Hey, mister. Oh. Frankus, you're a little late on uh, saving my life there, bud. And you're not even, you're not even attacking me. What do you want from me? He has that friggin' smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Fangers. Good morning, Fangers. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, oh, oh. okay, I, thank you. I really wanted to wash my face today, thanks. I wanna show you guys the most underrated trick that people don't do, they do the, the, they do the bang, they do the sit, they do the wave, they do the through, all that stuff for treats and stuff, and that's awesome, but I'm gonna show you my most used trick. That's actually used in like the real life, not not just for a treat. I'm gonna get him to sit and stay until I tell him to release. I gotta go do something. Something's a little unsafe over here. I don't want him to come here. This is something that every single person, every single dog, every single person should practice with their dog. That, yeah, that's it. Uh, you can do bang, you can do wave, you can do high, you can do all of that, but that's the most important one. Okay, come here. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Frankers. Thank you, Frank. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's Indy? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Hey! Come here. Come here. You, you, you did it. I didn't tell you to do it, but you did it. Yeah. Good girl. Today, yes. we are going out. On the town, eh? Clubbing. Okay, we're not going clubbing. We're taking the dogs to, uh, to go play and run. Frankie definitely needs to run every day and he hasn't gotten a good run in like two, two days maybe. Indy can chill and like play with Frankie and then, you know, she's, she's good. She loves it running too, but she's not as, uh, as needy as this guy who's going to the bathroom.
Now, like you just saw with this leash, what's really cool about it, this is the Wilder Dog, Wilder Dog? I don't really know how to pronounce it. Wilder Dog. Wilder Dog? Uh, it's like a class. One time, Frankie's, the clip didn't stay and he actually got let off leash on the road and I live in the city so it was really dangerous. So this one has a clasp and it has like this carabiner um, and it stays locked so you can't open it all the time, which is really cool. There we go. This is what we needed. And always, that trick. I had it, nobody else does it. I know. Oh, oh you, Poop you showed, you showed him. You showed him. He found it in on the ice. Oh my god. Careful. Oh, here comes Indy. The one thing that's a little scary about a stick is the bounce. So you want to make sure that you throw it far enough so that they don't get to it before it bounces. It's such a little thing that it can bounce back and hit them in the mouth and stab them. So you just, you sit, you want to make sure you throw it right. So if I'm going to throw it this way and he's going to beat it there, I'm going to throw it this. So it bounces before he gets there, just so it's safe. It's all the little stuff that keeps our dog safe, eh big man? Whoa! Gonna play some tug of war? Uh. <laughs> uh, uh. Stay here. Oh, there's like bees in there or something. Yeah, not in there. It's like just everywhere else. Drop it. Oh. It is now 6 p.m. on our last night. We still have tomorrow, which is Friday. We still have the day here. But the dogs, honestly, like after our, after our run or a little hike or little walk there, um, they just slept. And so that's actually something I want to talk about really quickly about the energy level and how hyper Aussies get, how hyper they get. Aussies are, are, are known to be very, very energetic dogs, which is completely all right to be known for that. But I, I hate it when people are use the word like, oh my God, they're so hyper. Yeah, they're a working breed. That's what they're, they're meant to do. They're waiting for a, a call to action. They're waiting for their, their owner to give them a command to do something. And they do need to exercise their mind, which is a normal, normal thing. Obviously you can't compare a, a French bulldog to an Australian shepherd or a greyhound to a golden retriever. That's not what I'm saying here. Um, Aussies just require about one to three hours a day of brain stimulating activities. And then, and then they sleep. It's not like they're, they're crazy all of the time. And that's something super, super important that I want people to know. Cause I hate when people are like, oh my God, does he just drive you crazy? And like, no, no, <laughs> no. Nobody would like a dog that just like annoys them all the time. Nobody liked that kid growing up. I wanted to capture crazy time. <laughs> Just sitting down to eat some breakfast and uh, move this out of the way while you're ready for your questionnaire. I thought this would be cool. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Indy? Aw, um, probably how like gentle and sweet she is. Just like very like sweet. Like. Well, that's kind of cool because like the one thing that separates her from being your crazy Aussie like Frankie is how she's timid mm -hmm. and that's your favorite thing about her. Yeah, that's and cool. like how I said my favorite thing about Frankie is that like he just makes you so happy and like laugh. Mm -hmm. he makes me happy and laugh. Where 
And then Indy makes me like, she's just so sweet. Like you just love her. Like, you know. Yeah, Indy and you're like, oh. And then you look at Frankie. <laughs> and he's like, I will be ready whenever you're ready. Yeah. And he like just like sits go. on the pillow really funny. Like he has to like adjust it, you know. The Jeep, oh, looking more red than ever. It's all packed up and we are ready to go. Thank you guys very much for joining us on our journey. Say thank you guys. Oh, all right, all right. They, they're, <laughs> they've had enough ta camera time. Oh, look at Indy. She went into Frankie's bed. If you guys enjoy the videos, um, subscribe. And, and turn on the bell notification. Turn on the bell notifications. Frank, you, you should be saying this. This is all you. I hope you enjoyed our little getaway and we'll do more of these soon. Well, there's a car coming in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> all right, bye guys. Big, 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 big,